Hello, everybody. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听今天的早安英文。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Colin, why do you look like so worried? Anything wrong? Nah, it's just I've got so much work to do today. But、thinking of having so many things to finish just makes me more worried. Take it easy, one step at a time. 大家都有这种被工作压垮的时候嘛。那这个时候我们要做的就是慢慢来。所以呢，我们今天就一起来看看如何用英语来表达，让别人慢慢来，别着急。Okay, I think most students know how to use this one. Take it easy. Yeah, that's an easy one, right? Take it easy, 就是说让你放松一点。别激动，慢慢来。Uh, to ask other people to relax,、uh, to calm down, to not be buckled under the pressure. 对，所以就是让别人别着急。其实当别人很生气的时候啊，我们也可以用到这个表达。Don't get so mad. Take it easy. We can also say things easy, like in this sentence: "Take things easy for a few days, and you should be all right." Got it. 所以这里用单数和复数都可以。Take it easy or take things easy. With the word "take," we use it in another common phrase. Take your time. Take your time. 大家在看各种美剧的时候，是不是经常会听到这句话呢 ？It means、uh, to do something slowly or carefully, you know, without hurrying. 对，意思就是让你慢慢来。从这个词组的字面意思 ，take your time， 你可能猜不出它是什么意思。所以啊，大家就把这个词组一块儿来记住。Take your time， 就让你慢慢来。Here are some examples. When you are meeting your friend, and you know maybe he's stuck in some terrible traffic, you can tell him to take your time. Or if you are doing some other people favor, they might say thank you for helping me. Take your time. Actually, take your time equals take all the time you need. 对，然后呢，除了可以直接用这个表达呀，我们还可以在 take your time 后面加上一个 doing， 表示慢慢来做某事。So Colin. When do we use take one's time doing something?、Mm, like when you're getting your hair cut, you don't expect your hairdresser to be very quick, right? 对，这个例子好，因为在理发师的手里呢，慢工才能出细活。So we can say the hairdresser took her time cutting my hair. 还有一个就是在做决定的时候嘛，我们需要多想，慢慢想，所以你就可以说 I'll take my time deciding. Hmm. I'll take my time deciding what work to do first. 对，有些事情急也没有用。哎，那这样提到着急做某事，我们也有几个很常见的单词，比如 hurry， 就是那个 hurry up 里面这里的 hurry. So here we can say there's no need to hurry. Hurry, yeah. 那 hurry 还有一个同义词就是 rush, r u s h, rush， 意思也是急匆匆的。和刚刚那个的 hurry 用法是类似的，所以这句话我们还可以说 There's no need to rush. When you're learning something like、um, riding a bike or playing instruments, there's no need to rush. Take some time learning the basics and then start practicing. 对，这几个句子里面呢 ，need 我们都知道意思就是需要，所以 There's no need to hurry or There's no need to rush 就是叫别人不要着急，没有必要来着急。There's also an interesting way of saying that. Have you ever heard the expression "hold your horses"? Horse, you mean the animal horse? Yeah. Hold your horses. Horse 指的是马。哦，那这个词组意思就是牵住你的马，告诉别人别着急了。Yes, you're right. We use it to tell other people to slow down, to stop, or to wait for a short time, or just to be patient. Yes, exactly. 这个表达就很形象，让你的马不要走，就是说别着急。不着急，慢慢来。Like if your mom is cooking, but you are starving, and you're yelling, "Mom, when is the food going to be ready?" Then your mom might say, "Hold your horses." <laughs> Colin is a good actor. Ah, that here the stomach is full. You have to wait for me to finish. We can say, "Hold your horses." And here, do you notice a little detail? Here, the horse cannot be used as a noun, but as a verb. Horses. 
So, 一定是 hold your horses. And there's even a simpler one: hold it. We don't have to necessarily hold the horses, but just simply say hold it. Hold it. 哎，尤其是在别人说话、啊、或者是在做什么动作的时候，你打断别人说，哎，等等等等等等，你这里没有说清楚。这个时候我们就会说 hold it, hold it. Yeah, like since today I have so much work to do, I'm thinking maybe I can ask you to help me to hold it, hold it. I'm asking you to take your time, not giving me more work. <laughs> All right, that's a good example, though. <laughs> 那我们今天学到的这些表达呢，还是非常实用的。大家在实际生活中啊，要把它们用起来。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢，是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Thank you for listening. This is Colin. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye.